Is it possible to retire purely off the VWRL? And if so, how would you do this? So firstly, in case you don't know, let's just discuss what the VWRL actually is. The VWRL is Vanguard's FTSE All World ETF. And this ETF seeks to track the performance of the FTSE All World Index. This Vanguard fund is a very, very popular choice amongst investors and for good reason. It's a global fund and right now you'd be getting 3,804 different stocks if you chose to invest in just this one ETF. So it's really diversified and you're getting both large and mid cap companies included in this ETF. And these companies are going to come from both emerging and developed markets. The majority of the market allocation of the VWRL is currently sat within the US. So at the moment it's 59.5%. And then we've got Japan coming in at 6.2% market allocation in this ETF and then followed by that 4% in the UK. The top four holdings in the VWRL are Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and Tesla. So now we've got that out of the way, let's start talking about whether it's possible to retire on just the VWRL. To calculate whether this is actually possible, the first thing we need to know is how much you would need in retirement each year to live on. So how much would your retirement pot need to have in it? The amount that you would need in your retirement pot is so subjective. Some people may be happy with £30,000 a year, others with 25 and someone else might be only happy if they're getting at least £70,000 a year in retirement. And because it's so subjective, we're going to look at this through three different scenarios. Scenario one will take the assumption that someone requires £25,000 a year each year in retirement to live comfortably. Scenario two will instead use a £30,000 a year assumption. And scenario three will be £45,000 a year in retirement as the assumption. There are a couple more assumptions that we need to make first before we delve into the numbers. We're going to assume that we are going to be able to follow this 4% rule. I don't know if you've heard of it, but basically it's this idea that you have a retirement pot and then you withdraw 4% of that pot each year and you can live comfortably for 30 years in retirement. We're gonna follow that. But obviously we need to have a retirement pot to begin with and how much needs to be in that retirement. And for that, we're gonna follow the 25 multiple rule. I'm still not sure if this is actually what it's called, but we're gonna call it this. And this is basically the idea that in order to calculate how much you need in your retirement pot, you take your annual salary that you'll need every year. So what we spoke about earlier, and you multiply that by 25. And this will give you your pension pot amount. And then from this amount, you withdraw 4% each year and that will last you 30 years in retirement. And of course, we need to account for inflation because a pension pot right now of 1 million pounds will not have the same purchasing power as it will in 20 or 50 years time. Now that's out of the way, we need to have a think about what the annual average returns are for the VWRL. So this ETF was launched in May 2012. So we only have data from then to work this out. I found a few different things on the internet about the average return of the VWRL, but I couldn't really find a definitive answer easily. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. I found out what the return for each year has been for this fund. I added them all up and I divided them by the amount of years I had data for. And this gave a rough estimate of a 12% average annual return. So that's what we're gonna work with. This ETF, however, hasn't been around very long. It's only been around since 2012. So because we don't have decades and decades and decades of data to work with, the annual return obviously may be a little bit different if we look at it in five years time. And of course, the past performance doesn't indicate future performance. I'm not sure if you're going to agree with this, but according to Trade and Economics, the current UK inflation rate sits at 2.5%. So again, that's what we'll use for this video. We're ready now to do some calculations. So for this, I'm going to use an online calculator. Like I said earlier, we're going to be looking at three different scenarios. Firstly, let's just have a little play around with this calculator, familiarize ourselves with it, and just see what sort of numbers we can generate. And after that, I will show you exactly how much you would need to invest into the VWRL to retire purely off of this ETF for the three different scenarios we mentioned. Let's firstly assume that an individual has 500 pound that they can invest into the VWRL as a one-off lump sum investment. And like I said, we are assuming a 12% average return for the VWRL. So I'm gonna put 12% in here. 
and we're going to leave this for 30 years as that's what we discussed by the 25 times and the 4% rule from earlier. And we are going to say that this individual can afford £100 to invest every single month. And of course, we want to account for an inflation rate at 2.5%. So let's hit calculate on these numbers and see what we get. Okay, so if we were to do this, we would have an investment retirement pot of £439,607.95. So that is, of course, after 30 years of investing, one off lump sum payment of 500 plus the £100 every single month into the VWRL. Okay, so now let's take this figure, let's divide it by 25, and this number, what I've got on my screen now, will tell us how much we can afford to live on in retirement if we do this investment. So this comes out as £17,584.32. pence. So this isn't really a comfortable salary to live on in retirement. I think most people can agree on that. It's probably doable, but it's not going to be a comfortable salary. So let's now just go back up and change the monthly deposits to £150 instead of the £100. Keep everything else the same. Let's press calculate on that one. So this comes out as £650,422.00. 55 pence. Again, we're going to divide that by 25 and that gives us that gives us just over £26,000. So this is actually already over the first scenario that we were aiming for, which was £25,000. Instead of making you sit and watch me do trial and error on this calculator for I don't know how long, I'll fast forward the video and share with you exactly how much you would need to invest into the VWRL to live off it in retirement at three different income points. In order to have £25,000 every year in retirement from the VWRL only, you would need to put £500 as a lump sum investment and then you would need to put £144 every single month for 30 years. By doing this, you would accumulate a pension pot of £625,112.44. And like I said, the idea is that you would then withdraw 4% of this amount every single year and you would get about £25,000 for 30 years in retirement. To go from £25,000 a year to £30,000 a year, we would need to change the amount that we're investing every single month. So we can keep our lump sum initial investment at £500, but instead of investing £144 every month, we would have to invest £174 every single month for 30 years. You would get a pension pot of £751,602.71. pence. So again, assuming the 4% withdrawal rule, we can divide this figure by 25 and we would get just over £30,000. For £45,000 a year, you would have to up your monthly contributions from £174 every single month for 30 years to £263 a month. By doing this, you would have a pension pot of £1,126,911.47. Divide this by 25 and you get just over £45,000 a year. So these three calculations that we've just done show you exactly how much you would need to invest into the VWRL to live off it in retirement. Like I said earlier on in the video, this is really subjective and I've just picked three different incomes to live off in retirement as a starting point, but feel free to use this calculator and mess around with the figures a little bit to fit your situation. And how the market is performing will really affect this. So how the macroeconomic situation is at the time of investing and at the time that you're looking to retire can really alter these figures. I think the general message that we've seen from these calculations is that the more you can afford to invest each month and the longer you can consistently do this for, the bigger your pension pot can become. So is it really a good idea to pin all of your hopes and dreams of retirement on the VWRL? The VWRL seems to be a really good global investment choice. It's gonna give you some diversification in just one investment fund, but like we said earlier, it is more heavily weighted to the US. However, the US is the biggest market in the world, so perhaps, that's a good thing. If you decide to invest into the VWRL through Vanguard, you will be paying really low ongoing charges, which 
is a really positive thing if you're trying to keep as many returns as possible into your own pension pot. But like I said, this fund hasn't been out decades and decades, so we have had to make some assumptions in this video today. Let me know what you think about the VWRL. And in the meantime, watch this video here, which will tell you exactly how you can retire off the FTSE 100.